Hello, welcome to Tech Easy. Today in this video tutorial, I'll tell you how you how you can get start with Zoho projects. So if you don't know anything about Zoho projects, this tutorial is absolutely for the beginners. So how you can create a project on Zoho projects and how you can create the tasks and how you can check the status of the tasks which are being created and how you can assign this task to the other members means other Zoho users, maybe your employees, maybe you are one of the team leader or the Zoho projects admin where you are creating this Zoho project and creating tasks and assigning tasks. So from starting step one, I'll detailly explain and very easily I'll try to explain. So I already created my account or registered my account on Zoho projects. I already did a video tutorial. If you don't know how to create an account on this project, Zoho projects, I drop a link in the description. You can check that. This is the home page. What you'll see when you first log into this Zoho projects account. So if your UI is something like this, what you need to do is just click on these three bars. Okay. So that it will pop up like this. Then, then just click on this. So that this panel, this uh, left side panel will get fixed. So once you're here, if you are trying to create the first project on your Zoho projects to maintain a project currently going on your company, that may be a real estate company, a restaurant or advertising company or a software development company, whatever it may be. At the left side, you'll see something like projects. You need to click on this projects. So this will open the projects dashboard. See, I already have two projects created and they are being maintained. See here, banking app development and digital marketing. These are the two projects what I'm handling correct now. And if you want to create for you, there will be no list of projects available. This will be a fresh page. And here to create a project, you need to click on new project. Here, Zoho will give you project templates, project templates, and these are the predefined or already available templates. Uh, that means if you don't know how to create or maintain a project, there are already available projects. You can use these templates. But as of now, our requirement is a specific re requirement. So I'll click on new, new project completely and manually. I'll try to create a project for now. I am designing a mobile game for example maybe a car racing game what i'll do is car racing this is a software app uh, as per my knowledge anything of your uh, choice whatever uh, your uh, requirement is you need to have that uh, project title here then warner warner in the sense this is my account okay so it is giving the drop down here currently i have i am the only user so I am the only user and the administrator. So in this drop down, I am only getting my name. So, okay, one is fine. Template. Okay, no need of any template. For this project, for every project, we usually estimate this is the start date and this is the end date. Maybe today is the starting date. This game should be developed within four months of time, whatever it may be. Choose the date. So within this date, there is a pictorial representation that how your project is going on, whether you are lacking behind or whether you are on time. All this depends upon this uh, dates, mean the duration of the project. This is very important. OK. So when you want to ha have help, you can click on this I symbol, which is in for you. If you place the cursor there, you'll get the information. Task issues, milestone, etc. cannot start or end outside the scheduled dates means if i check this option any date which is assigned more than this date this won't allow so for now i am not giving this option enabled so description developing a game developing a car racing game for so and so client all the description you can write as of now i am not writing anything because this tutorial will get a very longer period of time task layout standard layout i'll tell you what is this later project group okay 
you can add this project group like this is the software project for example in another project there may be real estate projects this is just the grouping or you can say that tagging uh, giving the tag names okay this is the mandatory field i am just uh, making it as software or mobile app development i'll give okay and just created a group called mobile apps so all the mobile apps category which are handling in this current zoho project account whenever there is a next uh, project related to mobile apps i'll keep that mobile apps here okay you need to create one and tags are uh, your wish they are uh, not compulsory or the mandatory fields but i'll give something like car race or mobile apps mobile game okay uh, when you want to search uh, among lot of projects in this case we use tags and we'll search the projects okay projects or the tags or whatever it may be tags is just to search means it is uh, like just identifier okay okay uh, roll up i'll explain separately if anyone wants to know what is roll up just do comment in the uh, comment section so customize tabs for this project so what are the default uh, tabs means these reports these documents these pages this users will be uh, added to our project i'll show you if you uncheck anything this won't be added see for example now i removed phases here i'll click on add now so the project has been creating see it is already created so i'll just go to one step back okay i'll just go to projects field see previously there used to be two projects and i now created a new project when i keep the cursor over there there is an option called access project i need to click on the access project in this project now i'll create task 1 task 2 task 3 so on okay uh, and after this i'll create users okay user means my employees my employees like uh, testers programmers and each and every one and i'll click on add users and i'll add all my employees how you can add okay here how you can add the users you need to click on invite users here and you can enter their email id okay enter the email id and are the administrator for example if it is a team lead you need to give it to as administrator if it is a general employee like programmer or coder you can just keep it as employee profile employee and if you click on invite this particular email gets a invitation from this particular project a uh, car racing mobile game project and if they accept those users get added to your project okay coming back to tasks now i will create a first task and i'll show you how you can create a task and you can create n number of task and assign to the users okay give the task name okay first is the requirement gathering i'll just write like title for requirement gathering requirement documentation collect all the requirements of the game something like that you can write the description whatever it may be this task is a general task okay okay actually there are some task list task list in the sense task groups we can say for example development tasks if i create a task list like development all the programming related tasks comes under this task list called uh, development for example testing tasks all the testing related task will be under this testing tasks okay in the next step i'll tell you how you can create this task list for now i'll just click on general okay uh, you can attach the files images or videos whatever the references or the documents word document if you have word document here click on this this will open uh, this will ask you to upload a file for example click on upload files this will open your computer file manager and you can upload the files okay as of now i'm just closing this uh, right now i am not including any documents yes owner of this task as of now i didn't add any user so i am keeping myself as the owner 
if you want to assign this task to someone called xyz or abc you need to invite that person as i told in the below step means previously i told you how to add the users invite the users first and assign that's the reason i told you how you can add the users first okay you can add multiple users for the same task okay that's fine and how many working hours you want to decide for this particular means how many hours per day for this task you can work like four hours per day okay that's fine and what is the start date for this task uh, the team should start the owner should start day after tomorrow and finish it by uh, like within three days okay this is the start and the, this is the due date or the end date we can call within this time schedule the task should be finished okay priority this priority is i can keep low medium or high i'll keep it high because without requirement gathering i cannot proceed further you can give some tags as i told you okay click on add so this is how i have created the first task in my project see likewise you can create n number of tasks and assign to the particular uh, people or the employee or the users here the status is open once they completed somewhat this uh, created task the other users uh, they will actually update this uh, task status for example there will be something like here status uh once they start doing work on this the other user the owner of this task will keep it into progress once it is in review he will give keep it in review and once it is sent to the testers to be tested uh, status once the task is completed i can keep it as closed so that this task has been successfully completed and closed okay this is the process i'll close this so once the task is been closed there will be a strike mark indicating that this has been completed likewise i can click on all tasks here so that all the tasks will be shown here or i can just make it to like all open means the finished tasks or the complete tasks won't be shown on the dashboard see here all open as the task is already closed it is not showing in the list here and for now i'll just keep it to all tasks you can see the tasks in the list wise or the gantt chart wise or see this is the gantt chart which indicates or which will be showing in the graphical representation somewhat like uh, 11th to 15th september is the time period for this particular task and see here this is the duration or the days and it is for weekly it is showing you can keep it to monthly wise okay uh, for this september particular month this is the task which is the ongoing tasks so by just looking at this picture or the graph i can get a idea of the tasks what are getting pending uh, if it is out due date it will be in the red so that just by looking at this i can get to know uh, yeah oh what is this going and how the tasks are being completed or whether the tasks are being delayed or how many are in progress or how many are in the testing phase everything i can get to know and one more thing is kanban this is even more graphical uh, representation which are grouped according to the status wise see here open i have how many tasks in progress i have how many tasks in review i i have how many tasks likewise i can check see here right now actually uh, there are uh, only one closed task see closed i have one see the number indicates how many tasks are in this particular category and i really like this kanban because uh, i'll just open this kanban viewing uh, representation and i can get to know how many are in progress how many are in open how many are in review how many are in testing phase and how many are closed and whichever you comfortable using those uh, representation or the task view you can 
view and i'll just close this tutorial until this point so if you have questions please do ask me so that i can do another videos basic upon your questions whatever the questions related to zoho projects please do ask i'll try to make a tutorial on that i hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching have a nice day